dental hygiene curriculum is a demanding one, requiring a high degree of individual motivation, good health and stamina, good manual dexterity, and an excellent background in biology and chemistry. Instruction is individualized and performance standards are exacting. The three-year dental hygiene program is designed for persons who wish to prepare themselves as dental hygienists. The hygienist works under the direction or supervision of a licensed dentist and must be licensed by the state in which he or she practices. Satisfactory completion of the dental hygiene curriculum is necessary in order to be eligible for state licensure. Somebody would choose dental hygiene if they like to work with people, if they wanted to work for a safe and clean environment, if they want to work for a team and be a member of a team that could support a person as a whole. When somebody comes to the dentist, most often it's they're either in pain, they need to re alleviate that from that pain, or they're getting that patient onto a regular interval where they can come and um, take care of their teeth take care of their smile, take care of their overall health because the dental hygienist is not just somebody who cleans people's teeth, but they're also a psychologist, a sociologist, a nutritionist, somebody who's advocating for um, healthy mouth when you play sports, etc. So it's overall total body wellness. I chose dental hygiene because I really loved going to the dentist and I realized that my hygienist was promoting dental health and I really wanted to do that for other people. I chose dental hygiene because my senior year in high school I did an internship at a dentist office and it really opened up my eyes to see what exactly dental hygienists do because they do a lot more than what people really think. I chose dental hygiene because I really wanted a job where I would get to interact with people and help people. In order to be admitted to the dental hygiene program at Ferris State University, you first have to apply to Ferris State University and you can do that through the website free of charge. Once you do that, you'll be asked to submit your transcripts from high school as well as any colleges that you've been to previously. And then once you get into Ferris, then your information is given to the dental hygiene program, which is then evaluated to see if you meet the eligibility criteria, which is um, having a B or better, or excuse me, having a C or better in chemistry and biology as a college student, maintaining a GPA of 2.5, and then a C in all of your coursework. As a high school student, you have to have at least a 3.0 in all of your coursework, as well as Bs are better in your chemistry and biology courses there. So there's two ways that you can be fully admitted to the dental hygiene program as a pre-dental hygiene student waiting to get into the professional sequence. My first year was great. It's so different from all the regular classes that you're taking before you get into the program. And so it's just really nice to be actually learning everything about teeth and dental and oral health. It's great. My favorite thing about the dental hygiene program is clinic. I really like interacting with the patients and I like knowing that I'm helping them. Um, we do more here than you would get at a normal office, so I just like the idea of going through every step with them and explaining everything and just helping them. Once you leave Fair State University and you are a licensed dental hygienist, Again, within the curriculum, we'll teach you how to give local anesthesia and nitrous oxide to patients that are 18 or older, so it makes you more a more marketable clinician once you're out in the field. But also, you could work for the public health system, and that's giving information to other agencies about dental health, looking at programs within the state, providing access to low-income individuals, access to care that the um, low-income indiv individual would not have access to. You can also go into education. There is always going to be a need for dental hygiene educators. You still cannot hook a computer up to somebody's mouth and it cannot do the work for you. Um, so we're always going to need dental hygienists out in the field to do that, but we also need somebody to teach those dental hygienists how to work in the mouth, etc. I really hope that I can get a job at home. I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. and. I really would like to work in just a general dentist's office and then maybe an orthodontist's office a couple days a week. I know that once I get into a real office, it's we're not going to be doing the head and neck exam, we're not going to be doing like everything that we do here, so I think that I'll be prepared. I think I feel pretty well prepared. I mean, you're going to be nervous and that's just how it's going to be. Our services are open to the public. We do encourage individuals to call in and schedule an appointment. Uh, we do have a dentist on staff, however, that, that dentist is not considered the patient's dentist. So we always encourage the patient to seek follow-up care by locating a dentist and, and scheduling an appointment with that dentist for follow-up exam and care. For more information, contact Kimberly Bystel, Program Coordinator, 
for the dental hygiene program at 231-591-2224 or 800-462-8553, extension 2261.